Chapter 4. Triggered Emotions. The brain is a feeling organ that thinks, and emotions can overpower the brain. Emotions are the driving force of life, the amygdala responds first to traumatic events. When the brain has triggered a series of reactions within the core of the brain, sending signals throughout the body essentially changing the body's awareness, breathing, facial expression, heart rate, and posture. To determine how triggered emotions affect others and how to control them, first, we need to know what triggered emotions are. A trigger is a psychological term that refers to the effects of the mind, especially functions of awareness, feeling, and motivation. While the exact brain functioning behind triggers was left unexpressed, the sensory memory to experiences that are associated is believed to be linked. It is an act or event that renders a stimulus and contributes to a reaction or series of reactions. With every stimulus, it is possible for a series of reactions. A trigger can bring on behavior, feelings, memories, or thoughts. Sure, emotions are essential in social connections and interactions with others. Awareness of emotion is crucial to enhance decision-making and motivation. There are healthy and unhealthy triggers, that people act on to produce a change in feelings of expression. Having said that, healthy triggers are naturally caused by feelings of happiness, love, joy, and peace. While unhealthy triggers are naturally caused by psychological pain such as a body wound or shock produced by sudden physical injury, from an accident or violence. Two, it can be an experience that produces psychological injury or pain, such as mental or physical abuse. Either way, once a person's awareness is activated, the person then releases a reaction. Habit formation can play a role in triggered emotions. A person who drinks might always drink while entertaining, and after that entertaining could trigger drinking, in such a way the drinker does it without conscious thought. While triggers do occur by choice to a response, they don't occur automatically. Most youth and early adults first acknowledge signs of basic and common trigger responses in college and school, but especially in the church. Adults, on the other hand, acknowledge advanced trigger signs after that at church and home, especially at work. But this generally happens when something traumatizing takes place or reoccurs. The basic and common triggers come from being belittled, criticized, talked about, taken advantage of, touched, etc., and either can form memory recall. Often a person may hear a verbal disagreement that would trigger a reaction, but they don't react and wait until anxiety kicks in, and then they react. When a trigger does help to recall memories of old perceptions that are associated. A person may then imagine what happened in the past, is occurring in the here and now. Or what happened in the past, will occur in the future, if they don't respond with the old perception survival responses. To later find out that the person who initiated the verbal disagreement suffer from traumatic experiences. Whether in defense or survival mode, when triggers activate, they are usually beyond your control, obvious or subtle and unexpected. However, reacting with old perception defenses or survival strategies wouldn't be helpful because they are unhealthy responses, and can only make things worse. That can bring on sarcasm, shame, and vulnerability. Sometimes the people involved may work things out, but other times it can turn into a bitter feud with rages of war against family and friends. Identifying personal triggers can help to control your responses. However emotional triggers ought to be acknowledged and not just identified. Learn to avoid old perception survival strategies and replace them with new perception strategies that are healthy responses. Resentment for unfair treatment. Resentment is feelings of displeasure or indignation at some act, person, remark, etc., regarded as causing injury or insult. Resentment itself isn't linked to any particular mental condition but is often the result of an inadequate expression of emotions after a painful experience. It is a common emotion that most people experience when they have an unforgiving nature. Things such as continual demeaning comments, unreasonable demands, injustice, racism, religious persecution, or even deep-seated resentment can have drastic consequences. Whereas the occurrence may be imaginative, misunderstood, or true. And resentment for someone can activate triggers and then bring on warfare. Like understandable resentment for a parent for years of abuse, after being unable to look past an injustice. People who blame wrongs or hold on to resentful feelings, in general, feel annoyed and shameful for the injustice or victimization. As a result, the person may hold a grudge against the co-conspirator and want to seek revenge. Though the person may feel victimized, often they are too angry or ashamed to discuss their feelings. And eventually, the emotions build up and fester into a grudge that gets expressed in the form of anger. It is in that occurring instance, resentment can come to affect a person's health. Altered perceptions of reality happen when a person feels like a victim in every situation and doesn't see any positive outcomes. Euphoria comes in long-term and short-term emotional strength, in the case of resentment euphoria is recognized through long-term resistance for not wanting to feel that disheartening and overwhelming injustice. In which the short-term resistance of euphoria turns against you, and then exaggerates states of happiness and self-confidence that form into pathological states of mania. This is a false sense of power that doesn't encourage a healthy form of expression. 
forgiving is considered to be an important step in overcoming resentment, it enables the person to face underlying feelings one at a time. Although there is no one type of therapy used to treat these feelings, methods of personal actualization are effective therapeutic techniques for treating resentment. People who find it difficult to forgive others for wrong may find some benefit in therapy. It will enable you to experience compassion and empathy for others and perceive reality. And avoid blaming others for wrongs or holding on to deep-seated resentment. To deal, face, feel heal from others, and take it all in. 10 Major Trigger Points 1. Belonging, it is natural to want to feel accepted or belong. 2. Competition, while everyone is affected by competitiveness, a need to feel better or equal to peers. This is an old observation of keeping up with the Joneses. 3. Fear, overrides the thought process to produce a reaction without thought. 4. Gratification, instant, since we tend to be more impatient nowadays, the small shopping list can turn into a list of demands. 5. Guilt, everyday people experience guilt and shame when overindulging into bad habits. This forms deep psychological issues that result in high levels of self-condemnation. 6. Leadership, great leaders are born not made, but what a person can imagine and originate, can become believable. 7. Time, since people are busy nowadays than ever before, they don't get enough quality time with family or friends, or even to pursue personal interests. Therefore, more people desire time to go out to eat, vacation, or just watch movies. 8. Trend setting, having the advantage of appealing to a wider audience is how businesses sell a large variety of products and services. Consumers just want to feel cool and trendy. 9. Trust, years of uncertainty have caused everyday people to become more discerning, because trust isn't something you can fake. 10. Values, judgment about the importance of something, and principles for making personal decisions can rule out various tactics of manipulation. Irrational and rational thoughts. To understand what irrational and rational thoughts are, we first must acknowledge what a thought consists of. A thought is using the mind's capacity or faculty to analyze, memorize, reason, and think to form an idea, opinion, plan, or picture. Thought is also an electrical impulse within a brain that is triggered by an external stimulus. The rationale comes from the Latin word rationize, meaning logical or reasonable. You do things based on logic, as opposed to impulse or whimsy. The original meaning in English was of something endowed with the ability to reason. Irrational is cognition, acting, talking, or thinking without the inclusion of rationality. It is more specifically described as an action or opinion given through inadequate use of reason, or emotional distress, or cognitive deficiency. A person who engages in rational thinking uses available information such as, past experiences, research, statistics, etc. Whether the available information is biased, has limitations, mythical aspects, or terms. The person can analyze possible outcomes of situations and can form rational thoughts and pay attention to factual basis. Especially in the face of adverse situations, because the person can look beyond their emotions to act wisely. Otherwise, he or she would become a slave of their own emotions, and fight fire with fire instead of acknowledging love can rule the world. The best options come to a person who can set aside passive aggressiveness responsibly. A person who disregards logic and reason becomes overwhelmed with the tension of the situation, therefore enabling bias, limitations, or mythical aspects and terms to decisions. And so, fact and logic are generally voided out because recent and similar situations usually dominate handling the situation. The person comes up with a detrimental basis for making decisions without logic. Distorting reality and work, and making them a barrier between his or her success. Rational thoughts occur when the mind is balanced, whereas irrational thoughts occur when the mind is unbalanced. You must balance thoughts just as you balance salt and sugar's intake, which too can help to balance emotions. The difference between rational and irrational thinking is one is based upon logic and reason whereas the other is based on neither. In rational thinking, the brain is used, and in irrational thinking, we tend to listen to our emotions. While some irrational thoughts can be triggered by stressful situations, other irrational thoughts can be due to lack of sleep, either way, a person is more likely to overindulge into bad habits. Learning how to manage our irrational and rational emotions is the essence of advanced thinking.